Welcome back to the channel, I'm Sean, and today I'm going to be going over what you should bring when you go hiking. So like I just said, we're going to be going over stuff that you should be bringing when you're going hiking. First off, you should probably have some kind of hiking bag. It's very important to also make sure that it's comfortable. That's important for me. Next, you should make sure that you have a good set hiking boots. I've had these boots for about five years. I spent a little bit more money than I was planning to at the time, and they've lasted me a very long time. I'm almost due for a new pair, actually. But they've lasted a very long time. Check out the tread on the bottom there. Very good tread. Also, bring a hat even if it's uh, not super bright out it's good to keep your face shielded from the Sun and that leads into the next thing you should be maybe not bringing on the hike but you should be using sunscreen this is a SPF 30 but I usually uh, wear about a SPF 45 to protect from the Sun now let's get into what's inside my hiking pack here first off we have water bladder I recommend having a water bladder over uh, water bottles just because it takes the hassle out of having bottles in your pack and having to fiddle through and open them while you're hiking. All I have to do is pop off the top there. There's still some water in that. And uh, I can take a drink while I'm walking, so I highly recommend getting a water bladder of some sort. This one's three liters of water. I rarely even go through half of it sometimes on big hikes, but there if I need it. Next in my pack, a little bit of a snack. I like to bring sunflower seeds when I go hiking. So uh, if there's salt in them, these are roasted and salted, so salt in them so it's going to replenish a bit of the salts I've lost through sweating. And uh, you know I feel like I fill up my stomach on sunflower seeds so that way I'm not craving other food. I wouldn't recommend taking Skittles on a hike. Probably not the best hiking snack. I have seen people do it though. Here's a big thing if you're hiking in the mountains, bear spray. Now, a misconception is that, oh, if you're hiking with a group of people, only one person needs to bring bear spray. I would recommend everyone in the group have it, because guess what? If I'm hiking with my friend Jesse, something happens to me, I fall off uh, the edge of a cliff, Jesse can't get to me, He's stuck without bear spray. Everyone in the group should have it. Next, in my pack, a first aid kit. This one's waterproof. I really like it. It's got band-aids, gauze, tape. I put a, a tick removal kit in here as well, so that's really good. Pretty nice little pack. Got cotton swabs in there and um, cotton balls as well, just in case. And I believe that there is some uh, antiseptic wipe in here as well. This is another thing, just like the bear spray, everyone in your group should have some kind of first aid kit on them. Moving on. This is a knife. Some kind of multi-tool would be uh, sufficient as well. It's a knife I've been using for a while now. A Les Stroud Blackfoot knife. I use it for camping, for hiking. But you know, this package right here isn't just about the knife. It's got a signal mirror on the front here. It's got paracord wrapped around the sides if I ever needed cording. Inside this little compartment right here, I have a flashlight with a whistle. And I have a flint striker, so there's my fire starting if I needed one. And then on the back here, I've got survival tips from Survivor Man himself, Les Stroud. And I got some cotton balls in my knife pack here to start a fire if I need to. Because I found that cottons, cotton balls are probably one of the best things to start a fire with. If you're using a flint striker. Moving on, I've got some more food in here, some pretzels. They look like they've been in there for a while. They're probably still fine though. Maybe a little bit stale, but I got pretzels in there as well. Next. I have this. 
Now this is an emergency bivy. It's kind of uh, one of those reflective blankets. So if I was stuck somewhere, I could use it as a shelter, prop it up like that, or I could sleep just on the ground with it and I would be hopefully be warm, semi-warm. So I keep that in my hiking pack because you never know. Some of the hikes I go on are really far. Last but not least, what I take with me is something probably everyone should have with them. Just, it's compact right now, but toilet paper. Because there have been times when I've been on the trail, all of a sudden this, this feeling hits you, you gotta go to the bathroom. So that's something I always keep in here. I also have a whistle on the front of my pack here if I need to get to it easy. It's a little bit more powerful. And inside there's a little compartment here that's got matches inside of it as well. You can never be too prepared when you're heading out for a hike. That's what I've uh, that's what I found. Well that's it. That's what I bring in my backpack when I go hiking. Hopefully you've learned something and maybe you'll be adding something that I have in my pack to yours in the future. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Comment down below if I miss anything. And uh, subscribe for new videos coming every Friday. And I'll see you next week.